Okay, here's how you solve a Sudoku puzzle that has letters instead of numbers. Uh, this one was called Wordoku. It was in the middle of a Sudoku book and um, you could find a hidden word where the gray squares are and mail it in and win a prize. Anyway, if you come across a puzzle like this, here's how I would solve it. First, I need to find out what the gray letters are. So I would make nine blanks across the bottom. And the point of the blanks is so I can figure out the hidden word. And the way the blanks work is inside the um, each column is what those blanks are for. And so each column has a gray letter and that will spell a word. And for example, that's a U right there. So I already know this letter has to be a U. And that is an I. So I know that that one has to be an I. And this last one is an E. So we got a little start already. Um, and what I would do, the U, the I, and the E, the U, the I, and the E, have already been used down there. Now when I solve the puzzle, I would just go and do the um, top, middle, bottom, like I would solve any puzzle, and find the answers. The only thing is, instead of one through nine, which it's really easy to know what's there, you just kind of have to say C-E-H-I-L-M-N-T-U in your head to make sure you get them all. So I'll try going across first. Uh, let's see, I'll start with this C. There's a C on bottom, or middle, bottom, top. One of these two is a C, so I'll put some C's there. Put a little box around them. Uh, let's see, there's a T on top, T, middle, or bottom. These two have to be T's. I'll put a little box there. I, I, there's an I on top or bottom. I'll go ahead and write them right there. Uh, let's see, you, I don't really see anything on the top. I might be missing some stuff, but I'll go down to the next level. Here we have an I, 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 U, U. One of these two has to be a U, so I'll write them in. This is probably a medium level, so it's going to take a little while to get through it. Uh, C is on the bottom. I know that that can't be a C, so these two are C's. I'll go ahead and write them in there. And let's see, C across the bottom, C right here. So I know that this has to be a C. Now, if that's a C there, then that's the fourth blank, which would be right here. So I've used up the C, and I'm getting closer to solving the hidden word. So I have C bottom, C top, C middle. One of these two has to be a C. I know it has to be this one. And that's how I'm going to solve these puzzle, this puzzle. I'll just keep going through methodically and getting to the answer. Let's see. H, U, Aha. Oh no. H U C L L L E. I don't have enough information. Oh yeah, I do. E. There is no E in the middle, so this has to be an E. And one of those two has to be a U, so I know it's going to go U E. So I'll put a U right here and an E right here. And we're getting a little closer to get into the answer. Uh, I know what these two have to be, so I'll go ahead and write them in. Uh, with numbers, it'd be really easy. I could just see what it is, but here I have to say C-E-H, C-E-H, I-L-M, I-L-M, N-T-U. So these are N-T. And I usually, if I find two that are a pair like that, I put a circle around them. So now, I know that those are N and T. Uh, that's about all I'm going to do on that row. I'll go to the next, to the across the bottom here, and let's see what we have to work with. We have M, M, M. That doesn't do me any good. We have U, U. One of these two has to be a U. 
can't tell what it is, but I'm going to go ahead and write them in just to have them there. Uh, let's see. M M M U U U. T is on top. No. E E. I can see that E is on the bottom. E is on the top. One of these two has to be an E. So I'll go ahead and write them in. And it's a little harder than with numbers, because with numbers you can just kind of see what's supposed to be there. I, oh here we go, I is not on this side or here, so one of these two is an I, so I'll go ahead and write them in. Put a little box around them. All right, now I think I'll just start going up and down and see what I can find. I've got U, 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 E, E, E. One of these two has to be an E, so I'll write them in. E, 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 okay, let's see. U, E, C, C. Across this side I have a C on the top and a C on the bottom, but I can't tell which is which. Let's see, I, I, top two. One of these two has to be an I, so I'll go ahead and write them in. Circle them so I know one of those two is an I. Uh, let's see, U, 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 E, 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 C, 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 L. Not enough information for the L. H, nothing there. So now I'll move on to the next section and we'll see what we can find. N is on the right, N is in the middle. One of these two is an N. I don't know which one, but I'll write them down. N, N, all right, M is middle, right, left, C is middle, left, right, one of these two is a C, either the top or the bottom. Now here is where the hidden word actually helps. I know that one of the gray boxes has to be a C, and only one of them can be a C. The C has already been used, so I know that this cannot be a C. It can't be a C because I already used the gray box for a C. If that's not a C, the top has to be a C. So I'll put a C up here. And I knew that one of these two had to be a U. Well, if there's a C there, it can't be a U, so the U goes here. And I knew that an N had to be either on the top or the bottom. It can't be on the top, so it has to be on the bottom. There we go. And then I'll go back and clean up a little bit of the notes that I put. Okay, now, um, can't really remember where I was, so I'll just start again. We had I, 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 M, 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 N, 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 U, U, aha, there's a U on the left, there's a U in the middle, one of these two has to be a U. See, U, U, U. It can't be the top, so the bottom must be a U. I'll put a U right here. And I know that one of these two had to be an I, so I'll go ahead and put the I right there. And um, then we'll just keep going. Now I can see, I can see just from looking what these two have to be. I mean, I can't see. If it was numbers, I would just know. I'll just read through them. C E H C E H I L M I. Okay, we need an L M and then N T U N and U. So T. So now I can't remember what they were. I think it was L. Yeah, L L L L L. So one of these two has to be an L, and one of these two had to be. Uh, now I have to go through it again. C E H C E H I L M I L M N T U N T. So these are L or T. So I'll put L T L T and I will circle. Now in this box, there are only nine possibilities and eight of them are used up. Um, so I'll go through and see what goes right there. And let's see, C E H, C E H H H H H H H H. That tells me that the only thing that could possibly be there is an H. So I will put the H right here. 
Also, I'll underline it up here to say the H has been used, and I will put the H down below. So, we're get, oh, and now I can look right here. Oh, I can see right here. These had to be an N or a T, N or a T, N or a T. This had to be, one of these two had to be a T. This cannot be a T, so the T must go right here. And I can also see what has to go here because there's only one thing left. But I have to go in order because I can't just see, like with numbers one through nine, I can see the answers. So C-E-H, C-E-H, I-L-M, I, L-L-L, L-L-L, L. So that up there has to be an L. And we're getting a little closer. Uh, let's see. I can tell what the two of those have to be also, so I'll go ahead and write them in. C E H C E. None of these are E's. That can't be an E, so the E must be on the bottom. C E H. So the H has to go up top. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, now let's go up and down the right side and see if we can find anything else. E is on the right side, the middle, one of these two has to be an E. It cannot be the bottom. So the E will go here. And let's just keep going. C, oh here, C is on the left, C is on the right. One of these two has to be a C. It can't be the outside, so it's going to go here. And as you get more, um, when we first started, there was hardly anything that we could find, and now it's getting a little easier. Let's see, we have E, 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 C, 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 U is in the middle, U is on the left, U cannot be on the top, so U has to be one of these two. All right, I'll put a little box around it, that's just how I like to do it. M is on the left. I can't tell where the M is going to be. I did the C, I did the U, T. T is on the middle, it's on the left, so one of these two has to be a T. Can't tell which one, but I'll just write them in. And let's see what's left. E, 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 C, T. All right, now here I can see that there are three things left. I don't know what they are, but I'm gonna go ahead and figure out what they are right now um, to, to narrow it down. C E H, C E H, I L M, I L M. So one of those three has to be an M. N T U. One of them has to be an N, and one of them has to be a T, but not a U. So M, N, or T. This can't be a T. So I know that this has to be either an M or an N, so I'll write them in and circle them just to help me out there. Uh, let's see, M, N, T, nope, nope, all right. So that didn't do me a whole lot of good, but every little bit helps. All right, now uh, let's see, if I just look around, I can see that there are two things left here, so I'll figure out what they are and write them in. C C E H C E H I L M I There's no L's, okay? So I know that one of these is an L and one of these is an L. So I L M N T U N T U. So one is an L and one is an N. So I'll go ahead and write them in. And I'll circle them. And that didn't really help me out much, but you just keep looking for um, things that help. Uh, if we look up and down this row, there's only three spaces left, so I'll try it. And here's one with two spaces, so I'll try it. Maybe I'll try this one first. Uh, let's see, C-E-H, C-E-H, I-L-M, I, okay, there's no L, so there's going to be an L here. And an L here. I-L-M, there's the M-N-T-U. 
Here's the TU, so N. So I will put an N here and N here. And neither of those did us any good yet, but it's just some more information. Uh, where's the one I was going to do? I was going to do this one right here. So let's look and see what could be in this. C-E-H, C-E-H, I-L-M, I-L-M. So in that column, we're going to have an M. Let's see what else. N-T-U. There's a U, so N-T. So in this column, we will have M, N, or T. That cannot be a T. So I'm going to put M or N and circle them. And this cannot be a T. So I will put M or N and circle them. So M, N, M, N, that tells me this one has to be a T uh, because it's the only thing left. So I'll put a T down here. I'll go ahead and erase my little notes I put up here. All right, now that was a T. This had to be L or T. It can't be a T, so it must be an L. The one below it had to be an L or a T. It can't be an L now, so it must be a T. And now I can see that the one, two, three, four, five, sixth blank has to be a T. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll put a T right here and I'll get rid of the T up here. And let's see, let me erase a little bit of the marks I put there. There we go. And now we'll keep going. Uh, let's see what else we can find. Um, make sure across the bottom that I have U C H U C H T I E T I E. So I have them all. The gray boxes I know have to either be L, M, or N. Here's one, here's one, and here's one. So these have to be L, M, or N. Doesn't do me much good there. This cannot be an L. If you look here, that can't be an L. The gray boxes have to be L, M, or N. Well, that's not an L, so it's got to be an M or an N. I'll circle it. And if you look at this gray box, it's an M, M or an N. So if there's only three gray boxes left, M, N, M, N, that tells me this one has to be an L. So I'll put an L in right here. And I'll underline it up here. And so now, um, and I'll put the L down below. Now when I look at this, I only have an M or an N left. So what, this has to be an M or an N, and this has to be an M or an N. It either says lunch time or lunch time. Well, it's got to be lunch time. There's no way that it would be lunch time, whatever that would be. So this is going to be an N, lunch time. I just solved the secret puzzle here. I know this is an M. And I know that this is an N. So already if my goal was just to solve, and I'll underline those to show I found them both. If my goal was just to solve the secret word, the secret word is lunchtime. Um, I'll go ahead and finish uh, solving the puzzle, but I've already got this, the hidden word. So I think I'll go across again. If I look here, I can see that there's just two things left here. So I'll go C-E-H, C-E. So, this has to be an H or a C-E-H-I-L-M-I-L-M-N-T-U, N-T-U. So this has to be an H or a U, and this has to be an H or a U. Well, I look right here, that U is in this box. This cannot be a U. That tells me this has to be an H. And if that has to be an H, this has to be a U. And so I will erase my little marks that I put earlier, just to clean it up a little bit. And we'll keep going. Um, oh, here's an L. 
That had to be L or N. If that's an L, that can't be an L, so it must be an N. If that's an N, this has to be L or N. It can't be an N, so it must be an L. This had to be L or N. It can't be an L, so it must be an N. And I'll just keep working through here and get the rest of the, the letters just to prove that the puzzle works. Even though I already solved the um, hidden word, there's an N. That was M or N. It can't be an N. It must be an M. There we go. And now when I look across here, there's only two things that can go in there. Let's see what they are. C-E-H. C-E. Okay, one of those two has to be an H. I-L-M. I-L-M. So one of them has to be an I. So H-I or H-I. And then just to make sure, N-T-U, N-T-U. So those are H-I, H-I. I look down, I get, oh, one of these two had to be an I. So if one of these two is an I, that cannot be an I. If it's not an I, it must be an H. And if that's an H, this must be an I. So I've just solved the whole top section going across. And then I will, um, I'll just keep going, finish the whole puzzle. Uh, let's see, across the middle here, um, if I look, I don't know, I'll just start working and see what I find. I've got E on top, E on bottom, E on middle, I, 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 U, 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 C, 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 H, H. Okay, H in the middle, H on the top, H on bottom, no help there. Uh, let's look here. Not seeing anything I can get there, so um, although I know that this has to be an N or a T, and if that has to be an N or a T and there's only two things here, then I know that this one also has to be an N or a T. So I'll go ahead and circle that. That doesn't do me a lot of good. Um, across the bottom here I have one, two, three things. And let's just see what they are. C-E-H, C-E-H, I-L-M, I-L-M. So one of them has to be an M. N-T-U, there's the U, so it has to be M-N-T. So if these are M, N, and T, if I look here, no help there, no help there. So I didn't get anything out of doing that. Um, Let's see, down here there are, th um, there are three things. Let's see what they might be. Oh, here we go. C is in the middle. C is on the top. C has to be one of these bottom. And I know it has to be that because I have a C written there. So this is a C. And now, when I look here, there's only two possible things. Let's see what they are. C. E, H, so one of these has to be an H, I, L, M, I, L, one of these has to be an L, I'll circle them, and just to make sure that I didn't make a mistake, I, L, M, there's the M, N, T, U, N, T, U. So that's an H or an L. That's an H or an L. Oh, when I look up, though, there's an L. That can't be an L, so it has to be an H. And if that's an H, this one has to be an L. So we're getting a little closer. And let me just erase the little marks I had there. All right, so let's see what else we have. Well, this has to be L, N, or I. Uh, I can see that, but I'll just to make sure. C E H C E H I L M I L M N T U N T U. Okay, so it's I L or N. There, this one cannot be an N. Well, oh look here. If that's an N, that had to be L or N. It can't be an N. It must be an L. And then. Um, 
this cannot be an N, so the N has to go down here. And if that's an N, this has to be an I. So we're getting a little closer here. Now I can just look, I can look right up and see what those two have to be. And I can also see that um, there's only one thing here. So that's got to be an M or an N. That's an M. So this has to be an N. All right. And then let's see what these two are. C-E-H. C-E-H. I-L-M. I-L-M. M-M-M-M. So these have to be a T or an M. A T or an M. So I'll go ahead and write it in there. T-M and T-M. All right. And if I look across, no T or M there, no T or M there. But if this is a T or an M, then this one has to be a T or an M because it's all that's left. So I'll go ahead and write T and M in over here and circle it. And I'll erase these little notes I have there. And let's see where we're at. I can tell what these two have to be um, because they're the only two things left there. So let's go ahead and find it out. C E H. C E H H H H H H. So I know one of these has to be an H. C E H I L M I L M M M M M M M. So these have to be H or M. H or M. And I'll circle those. Now, if those two have to be H or M, and I can see that one of these had to be an I. The I can't be on top. The I has to be in the middle. And now that I said that, I can look over and see an I there. That couldn't be an I. So the I is the middle. One of these two had to be an E. Well, it can't be that one, so this is an E. And we're getting a little bit closer to solving the rest of the puzzle. Um, I, this was a medium puzzle, but when, when you use letters instead of numbers, it's a little bit harder to see obvious things. Um, oh, if I look here, there's an E. One of those two had to be an E. It can't be here, so that's an E right there. Okay. And let's just work up and down, I guess will be the best way. Um, or here I can, yeah, let's just work up and down. Well, here's an H or M. And since there's only two things left, if this is an H or an M, this has to be an H or an M. An H is right there, so I know it's not an H, it must be an M. And if that's an M, then this must be an H. And this had to be H or M, so this must be M. And right above it, this had to be T or M. Well, if that's an M, make it look more like an M. If that's an M, then this one must be a T. This one had to be N or T. If that's a T, it can't be a T, so it must be an N. If this one had to be N or T, that's an N, so this must be a T. And that one had to be N or T, that's a T, so this must be an N. And we're getting pretty close here. It looks like those are the only two I have left. This is a T, so this is an M. This is a T or an M, so it must be a T. And there we go. I just solved the entire puzzle. I um, got the secret hidden word about halfway through the puzzle. And in the puzzle book that I got this puzzle out of, if you find the secret hidden word, you could mail it into the book company and win a prize or something. But the thing is, if you're using letters, you just kind of have to run through them in order because in your head, you naturally think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But I don't naturally think C-E-H-I-L-M-N-T-U in my head. So you run through them like that. And the other thing is use the gray squares to give you hints to know what the letters have to be. And if you eliminate them up there and write them down there, uh, it makes solving the puzzle a lot easier. Anyway, I hope this was helpful. Um, hope you have fun with Sudoku and um, have a good day.